The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks. Uh, this is Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn, joining you for TFNN. Here's what we're going to be looking at today, folks. I've taken us across the pond to take a look at the FTSE and also the DAX. There's very similar patterns that we're looking at, especially in the uh, FTSE. is very, very similar to what we're looking at here in the Dow. And I will cover that in just a moment. But I wanted to bring a couple other things to your attention that I think are relatively important. Uh, if you remember, all week long, we have been talking about the possibility of this three-day rally that we've had here in the Dow Jones. I want to bring this up so you folks can take a look at it. It's done exactly everything we expected it to. It's been up to the 382 three times. Uh, probably it'll do it the fourth time today. Who knows? This pattern is being talked about in the news, folks. So I, I am a strong suspicion that they're going to try to put in a strong close in the market today. But if the market closes below the lows in the Dow that we made today, in other words, down more than 400, you do not want to be long stocks into uh, Monday. And let me explain to you why. One of the things that we know about in these markets is they repeat over and over again. There's nothing new under the sun. Just like in the Bible, it says nothing new ever really occurs. So the first thing you want to ask yourself is to what really happened to the Dow Jones and when we had the last COVID, and let's see if there's any similarities. So let's bring this up here, and we'll bring it up so you can take a look at it. I'm going to do the work for you because it's easier for me to do it than it is for you. Here is the Dow Jones in 2020. You can see when COVID hit, we were at 30,000. We went all the way down to 17,000 in six weeks, uh, actually one month. And that was a you know twelve thousand dollars. Now look at that first one, that four day rally, folks. You see that four day rally right there, and then look again. You had another. You you moved two thousand points in one day, and then went back down again. Then you moved three thousand points in one day. Can you imagine where we're going to be now when we're trading at these big numbers? You've got to be very very careful here, folks, because this is what we're looking at right now. It's at that exact same pattern. And that exact same pattern is a really, really scary one because if you look at it on a little bit longer time frame, and that's what we're going to do here. And uh, again, I'm looking at the, every, I, I should have these lined up so that I can see them. But by golly, you know, it's just not as easy as uh, I would like to make it. So here's where we are today. Remember what happened in 2020. Okay, there's there's your there's your four day rally right there, right at just right at the three eight two retracement, and when I did this, it was thirty four thousand one sixty eight. We're trading uh, quite a bit below that, right? Well, not quite a bit below, a little bit below it. Anyway, if we close below, in other words, if we're down there near that thirty three thousand level in the Dow Jones, then then that's when you don't want to be you don't want to be long that because anything under anything under thirty three thousand six hundred uh, low today was around, I think, around that price, 33600 Anything below that low uh, tells you that you're going to see a, probably a 10,000-point drop in the Dow Jones very, very quickly, probably over a month. time, And that's a good thing because it's going to give you some nice, you know, buying opportunities and selling opportunities all the way down. So, And remember, this is my interpretation of what I've seen in the past. Does the past always equal the future? Of course it doesn't. Do the patterns always repeat? No, they repeat sometimes. So all we're trying to do is to find where they are and how they're going to, to unload, uh, um, how they're going to complete. And if we do that, then we've got something to look at. But the market has to close down there in the Dow Jones around where you look at, at around that 33,000 level. That's really what you need to do. Now, the NASDAQ has had tremendous swings here. And uh, that's, a, that's a good thing, you know. Th but the trouble is the people in the market don't like big swings like that. So that means that there's probably something changing. And that's why, you know, it's, uh, you know, so very, very important. One other thing is very important. 
Let's get to the price of Apple. Now, Apple came out with the greatest earnings since Hector was a pup, and that dog is 17 years old. Look at this. We had really bombastic earnings. It went up to 68. It's now trading at around 65 or 66. Now, I mean, that's still acting pretty good. But if something happens that Apple starts to uh, get lower on the day, which would affect the Dow quite a bit because it's a price-weighted stock, it would really make it very, very interesting here because here it would be a situation where you had super good news and the market didn't respond to it. But right now it's responding to it. There's nothing, nothing to be afraid of at all. It's the close today, folks. That last hour of trading is going to be the really important part of, the, of this because if we can hold that, that and that doesn't mean we can't go down on Monday. It's just that it's it's got a situation like we had exactly like we had in COVID with the three-day rally, four-day rally, and then rolled over. So if it does that, then you're looking at something that people just don't do the work and go back and see what happened during that last time. Well, I tried to do that, and whether it's going to work or not, I don't know. You know what else, boys and girls? Nobody else knows either. So the only thing we can do is we can control how much we can risk. And we're seeing swings today. I mean, look at this. We, 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 yesterday, we had, uh, we had a $2,000 move in the Dow Jones. Okay, We had well over 160 handles in the S&P, over 120 handles in the NASDAQ. I mean, these are monster moves. You know, that's why your volatility index is going wacko most of the time, because people are seeing this stuff and they say, oh, my God, what do I do now? And that's the main thing that you've got to realize what you're going to do now is to see how it's going to end on Friday, because if it ends badly on Friday, it's going to look exactly like it did back in 2000. And that's what you don't want to see happen. Well, if you're short, you want to see that happen. If you're long, you don't want to see that happen. The other thing that, that I think is apparent to many people now, some of these people, these millennials have been out there and they were doing Read It and uh, Robin Hood and all this. Look at Robin Hood, folks. It's gone from 90 to 10. And I don't, even, I don't even know if it's still at 10. I just heard it on the news this morning that it was trading at 10. You know, Tesla that we talked about, uh, you know, just last week. Uh, if you remember, last week, we, in fact, we talked about it with that 20-minute number that we had here on Bloomberg on Wednesday. But look look what our price objective was last week, folks. If you like ABCD patterns, look what our price objective was, was 800. And we hit 800 today. I saw a trade at 802. So that's a sign that that pattern uh, could be completed now. And that might mean the reason that the market could rally. Now, we've, we've had some really, uh, as you go through your uh, information on the 24-7 the newsletter, trade what you see, you'll see that many of these have hit major points. Amazon hit a 618. Microsoft hit a 618. Apple hit a 618. And they've held those numbers. So that could be the reason if the market does decide to turn, those they let it down, they could back easily lead it back up. So that's the whole key. It's what how it how it closes today. That last hour is going to be just so very very important from my perspective, and that's the main thing. Now the second thing that we need to talk about today is the gold market. I've been getting. Hey, guess what? We have Jeff Huge as a guest today, Alpha Insights. But before that, we got to pay a few bills. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. And just for kicks and giggles, I decided to put up a chart here of crude oil. You can see the ABCD pattern there. What's interesting about this is if you'll do the work yourself, you'll start to see that you have this beautiful ABCD pattern. And it's also a perfect one when you look at AB equals CD in time. In other words, the distance between the AB leg is equal to the, to the distance in the CD leg. Now, whether this is a major top or not in the uh, crude oil, I don't know. But all I know, up there at 88.50, you didn't have to risk a whole lot. Now we're trading at 87 and change a little while ago. I don't know where it is now. But that's pretty much what we're, what we're watching as we look at these. Those of you that are in the grain business, I highly suggest you take a look at the uh, soybean oil. I don't have those charts uh, ready today because I just got too very too very very busy this morning and I wasn't able to do that. But if you would be so kind as to look at them yourself, you're going to see a three drive pattern in the soybeans up there around that 1280. Excuse me, 14 right around that 1480 level, and that's a big expansion number. And also crude oil on the March oil uh, has a big 61 percent retracement up there at uh, 65 30. So it's interesting to see, you know, how that one is, uh, how that one's lining up. So remember, folks, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And that's the key to what we're looking at. This volatility that we're seeing is just absolutely fantastic. Now, let's get back. We've only got a little bit of time before Jeff comes on, and I've got many things to do over the weekend with charts and videos. Uh, this week, we've had a terrific week. We've seen pretty much what we thought these markets were going to do. That's not always the case. But look at this, folks. Look what silver did. Now, this is really incredible now this is what we did last week if you remember we were on last friday and there was a head and shoulders pattern you can see it just as clear as a bell at 2475 and now we've come down we've made a 135 pattern down here at 2250 now if it breaks anything below 2250 into 2230 something like that this is going to be a failure of a 135 pattern and that my friends is not very uh constructive now we've broken down below the 60 1% retracement in the gold. It's already broken more than $60, which we were expecting it to do. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to you know, turn around and go crazy here, but look where we are here. This is what I sent. I sent this out 
uh, yesterday, and I, I followed through with it today. When we went below that uh, coveted uh, 1790 level, we're trading at – last I saw it was 1780 and change. But look at this. We went below the 61% retracement. We got all the way down to, I believe, 1780, I believe, or maybe even 1779. Well, the danger at that 61% retracement is the fact that – it was only, you know, look at these wide bars down. Might you don't have to try to catch a falling knife in this market. Yeah, you well, you can if you, you know, put your stops in. But look at this. This is only two days down from the top. Go back at the top in 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 November. Look how quick it came down there. Go go back to the top in September. You, you don't want to have anything to do with that. That's one of the major danger signals of ABCD, folks. Are these wide ranging bars, both up and down? You know, I put that in the book. I talk about it all the time. You know, whether you think it's important or not, not important because it's important to me. So if you pay attention to ABCD, two of the danger signs that you have are wide-ranging bars. Second one is gaps. And the third one is how many days has it been off from the high? In other words, you, like today in the crude oil, the chances of this being a big reversal day to the downside in crude oil is probably nil. But if it is, you know, crude oil is already broken a dollar from the high. If it breaks two or three dollars from the high, that's going to tell you something. Whether that's occurring or not, you know, God only knows, and she happens to not be trading today. That's how we know that. But look at the – if you have your trading uh, – your trade what you see letter, go look at the charts in the FANG index, how they've lined up perfectly with these, just like we did with Apple, just like we did with Microsoft, just like – like we did with Tesla, all of those came in uh, pretty much where they were supposed to. And that could be the reason that we have a really good close here today, that this is an important bottom for some uh, wild stretch of somebody's imagination. But if we close badly, and if we close badly, and that's the key, that's where you want to be careful, because that's where you really, really run into uh, some serious problems uh with these things, so that that's that's the main thing to to remind yourself uh, of that. That's uh, what I think is important. Anyway, of course, since this is my show, I'll I'll say it's important, but you know that's neither here nor there. Okay, now we'll move on here to uh, to the next one here that we want to take a look at. Uh, we've covered the gold, we've covered the silver, folks. We have an explosive move in natural gas. Look at this move we were looking at yesterday. Hold on a second. Yeah, uh, I, yeah that, that Alibaba is making a triple bottom. Uh, to me, I can't touch Alibaba in here. Your risk is very, very slow, uh, small here in, Abby, <laughs> in Alibaba. But uh, frankly, I, on, this is such an important day, folks. I mean, I heard uh, Basil talk about it because if we close badly, and we're a long way from the close, folks. We got, what, four hours and a half to go. And if this thing turns around like it's done many times, uh, you know, you could be looking at something really, really disastrous in this. The, the key to this whole thing, folks, is the chart of the S&P. And, you know, we, we did all of these. I mean, we, we did the 382 on every single one of these. And I want to do it again because it's just, it's that important. Look, we made a bottom on the 24th, okay? We rallied for three days really strong. We went from 33,000 in the Dow up to 34,800. We rallied 1,500 Dow points, right at, pretty much right at the 382 of the high. We stayed there twice. We went back there and hit it twice. Yesterday, we came down and we tested it again this morning at 33,600. We're trading at 34,000 right now. And if we can close above 34, 35,000, then this has got a chance that there's been some strong distribution and accumulation in here. One of the two, we're going to know by the close, I think. But if we close badly below that red line, be long at your own risk, at your own peril, because that is not going to be. It's going to be exactly what it did in 2020. And guess what? We had COVID in 2020, and today they came out with variant number 29 or something like that. I have to tell you a quick story, too. I sent John Jameson some books yesterday by Federal Express. There's some rare books. I, it cost, cost me $373 to send them to the U.K. They weighed 10 pounds, all right? This morning at 6 o'clock, John called me to tell me that FedEx had called him, and they were at the London airport. Of course, he's in the Isle of Man. It'll take a couple days to get there. But they would not deliver the package to him unless he answered a series of 30 questions. You know, is it got, what's it in it? You know, how, how much did you pay for it? Is it a gift? All these, does it have any bullets? Does it have any assets? I mean, 30 questions. 
And then when he went through the whole thing, the guy said, yes, you've been approved. You will get it uh, on Wednesday. So, I mean, you talk about a different world than we've lived in before. That's what we're into. But uh, anyway, that's what's going on over there. I thought you'd be interesting to, to know that's how much it costs to send something somewhere if you want to get it there in a hurry, which isn't too bad. You stop and think it's 10 pounds. So that's $32 a pound. You get a child on an airplane from Tucson to uh, the U.K. It's going to cost you probably 800 bucks. Pretty much a fair deal, I guess, but, you know, we'll see. Okay, now, here's another one that's in big trouble, and I still think we're doing it. The dollar is still strong. When the dollar is strong, gold is weak. Euro is heading down to this area right here. It means the dollar is going to be strong. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, uh, on the line, and uh, he's going to talk to us first about trend analysis. Good morning to you, Jeff. Hey, good morning, Larry. How are you today? Very good, my friend. Very good. So what are you seeing here in the trend? Well, you know, obviously we've had a little problem in, uh, in the trend over the course of the last week or so. Um, you know, we've been monitoring this thing on a daily close basis just to take some of the noise out. The chart you're looking at goes back to, you know, the March 23rd lows of 2020. 
And, uh, you know, the trend was fine. It was moving just fine, despite the fact that we've had, you know, huge overvaluation in the top seven uh-huh. stocks, heavy concentration, a lot of leverage. Uh-huh. But, um, you know, the silver lining of, a, of an uptrend has been broken now. And uh, we have corrected a full 10% from its peak to the trough. And um, I think this is normal in a bull market. A lot of people, I think, are overreacting to this uh, this pullback. It's not that unexpected, especially if you look at uh, uh, how uh, historical mid-cycle election years trade. January is almost always down. I think it's got like a 90% history of being a down month. And uh, we usually get a rally into uh, late first quarter, early April. And so that's what I would be hoping for if things play out historically. We've pulled back through, um, you know, trend support and what I would uh, describe as initial support at 4,500. And we're now testing 4,300, which is critical support. And it also marks the 55-week simple moving average, which historically has been a great barometer for intermediate-term trend. And so my hope is that, you know, we can hold that level and uh, develop some sort of a base here, and then I'd be looking for a bounce to new highs. Alternatively, Larry, if we were to sustain a breach below that 4,300 level, uh, and and it, it held below there for weeks, then I would think that the bull case is probably off the table. Okay, it's going to be interesting now. You're an extremely adept at your Elliott Wave analysis. You want to tell the folks what you're looking at here? Well, there's two narratives, really. Um, you know, the preferred count is the bull case. And one of the things that really resonates with me in the, in the preferred count is the fact that the current um, uh, pattern, which is really of uh, intermediate term degree, that 3-4, looks almost identical to the 3-4 of primary degree, which is one degree lower, that um, uh, parentheses 3, parentheses 4 below it. And so, you know, we put in that wave 4 low in March of 2020, and we've rallied up here, and it looks to me like the uh, the low that I'm hoping we're putting in right now could be wave 4 of intermediate wave 5, of cycle degree five. And so um, if in fact we are putting in a tradable bottom, we could get quite a rally. In fact, um, by my count, uh, the S&P has the potential to rally to 5,400. That's the bull case. Now the alternate account uh, to the right of that actually um, illustrates the bear case. And the bear case is simply this. Uh, The market topped on January 4th, that was the top. And it wasn't just intermediate wave five, but also primary wave five, cycle wave five, and super cycle wave one or three, however you want to count it. And the implication for that is quite dire. That would suggest that we are on the precipice of a major correction of biblical proportions, frankly. Well, biblical. Oh, that's pretty severe. <laughs> hey, <laughs> listen, one of your specialties, of course, is your value versus growth. And you've got a chart here that shows that this is uh, breaking out. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, we're very focused on relative strength in our work. And uh, at this case, at this point, we're looking at a 15 year monthly close only uh, chart of the value growth ratio. We're using the pure value uh, index versus the pure growth index. So there's no no overlap whatsoever between the constituents here. And that ratio actually bottomed in 2020 rallied to a interim high in 2021 and then pulled back and put in what looks to me to be a double bottom. And we have since rallied through um, uh, moving average resistance, trend resistance, and chart resistance. And the thing that really is convincing about this is the fact that structural momentum, the lower panel, has led price the entire way. And that is a very, very bullish indication Uh, So I think at this point, value is leading growth, and that is potentially very sustainable. So if it's true, then um, growth investors probably need to reposition their portfolios. Okay. Now, the Fed met this week, and they talked about interest rates, and you've got a nice chart here on the interest rates rising. So I would like you to explain to the folks what you're looking at here. Absolutely. So... 
Um, you know, this might be the most important chart in history. And I say that, um, you know, perhaps in the context of my own career, which only dates back to 1990, but we've been in a 40 year bull market for bonds that started around 1980 or so. And um, what this chart's really telling us is that that bull market in bonds may very well be over. Um, we've already put in what I would describe as a classic pattern base formation of the inverted head and shoulders variety. And it is already resolved to the upside when we took out the 177 level on the 10 year bond yield. That implies a move to about 3%. Well, and it's not illustrated on this chart, but the 40-year trend line actually bisects at 268. So we would then have broken out above that 40-year trend, and that would be a clear indication that the trend is turning to the upside. And, you know, frankly, the, the bigger picture implication here is that um, asset prices in general, which have been based on this perpetual, um, you know, low interest rate environment, will have to reprice or recalibrate or re-rate to a higher interest rate environment going forward. And uh, that would favor value stocks over growth stocks as well. Well, that's really good. And their next one uh, sort of verifies that. This is the one when you're looking at the rates uh, as correlated with interest rates. Is that correct? That's right. So we've uh, really just taken the same chart, the 15-year uh, ratio of value to growth, and we've overlaid the 10-year bond yield. And we've we come up with a correlation coefficient of over 80%, 0.81 to be exact. And, uh, you know, what we're thinking is that if rates are breaking out, we do get a rally to 3% on the 10-year bond yield, then I think that this, um, um, this, this rotation from growth to value is just getting started. And we could see, you know, and that, that ratio is actually up 10% year to date. We could see it up another 20 to 25% over the course of the next 12 to 18 months. Wow. Holy cow, that's really interesting. Now, the next one that I'm really interested in to hear what you have to say is uh, Halliburton, the war stock. So uh, are we going to go to war? <laughs> I don't know if we are or not, but, you know, the only uh, sector in the S&P 500 that has actually generated positive return year to date is the energy sector. And uh, if we're going to dig around the oil patch for opportunities, I don't want to buy something that looks too stretched, right? And I think the oil services stocks are one of those spots where you can actually find a very fat pitch. And Halliburton uh, appears to be just that, putting in an inverted head and shoulders base, and it's clearly resolved to the upside. The stock actually just made a new 52-week high this week. Wow, that's good. Hey, Jeff, thanks for joining us, my friend. And uh, we'll have you on again in a couple weeks. And stay safe and keep up that great work, buddy. Oh, thanks so much, Larry. You, you too. Bet, buddy. Bye -bye. You're, you're a prince Are among you the men, market my for friend. buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. 22. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living to stay on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I put a chart up of the NASDAQ that pretty much described what's been happening all week up and down since the 24th. We had a bottom, rallied up to the 382. We've been attempting to get through that, uh, which is quite a bit away from where we are right now. But there's a lot of time left for trading, so it could go either way. The close today is the most important, folks, because if we close poorly, all of this stuff that happened in between today is nothing more than cannon fodder. In other words, it doesn't mean a whole lot. So, and believe Believe me, with all these things setting up with the all the NASDAQ stocks that I look at with the FANG stocks, they hit major, major support. You look at the 24-7 newsletter, you're going to see it. And we stopped exactly, you know, at the at the one standard deviation. We talked about that uh, uh, several times. Uh, here you can see it, it did it twice. You can let me just get it up here so you can see it. So until we go below those numbers, you know we're still in a bull market. You know we're the fact is uh, this one right here happens to be the Nasdaq and is trading at. Uh, uh, let me see. The last time I put this up, it was trading at fourteen thousand two fifty. I have no idea where it is, but my guess is it's probably close to fourteen thousand two fifty. Can someone give me a price on what the uh, A mini Nasdaq is doing right now? That number in the S and P is around forty three thirty, I believe forty three twenty five. So uh, it's uh, forty three fifty was a fifty eight percent retracement. Yes, on the E mini S and P, but uh, the Nasdaq is the one that's important because you know it's the one that led us down. It's the one that's led us up. So if it's going to lead us up, it's going to be pretty doggone strong. It's very strong. So right there, there it is. 42.20. I said 42.25, and there it is at 42.22. So t t today's close is it. If you close above 42.22, uh, you know, then I think you've got a chance for more of a rally. But, you know, this market has a has a tendency to, to look very, very poorly uh, in, in the morning and then come back in the end of the day. And that's mainly because of the algorithmic traders, folks. They They know where these numbers are. I, I, do you know how I know that? Because they run this stuff by computers, and computers do one thing, and they pick up numbers. And when they start seeing those numbers pop up, they might know, might not know that they're 1.618 or 1.27 or 618 or anything like that. But they know those numbers are there. When they see prices move around those numbers, that's how they build their programs. And the low that we made today in the Dow Jones, which turned the whole thing, was down there at 36,000. Uh, 36,600 and excuse me, 33,600. Let's try it again, Larry. 33,600. We've rallied 500 handles. We just hit 34,200, so 600 handles. So, and these swings we have, you know, nothing for the Dow to move, you know, 1,000 and 2,000 points in a day with these big swings. I will say this sometime in this cycle, whatever it happens to be, we're going to see a day with the Dow Jones down more than 1,500 points. And that's not going to be a lot. 
because the most we've had it in any one day down was 900 points, if you remember a couple weeks ago. So what history does, it's, it repeats itself, but not in the same ratio and proportion. It'll be 900 times 1.618, and that takes you to, to 1,500. And <laughs> defy human nature. Go prove it to yourself, and you'll see it over and over again. That's just how the old market works, and sometimes it works better than you might think it does. But it's out there to glean as much money of yours that they can. So the secret is, like I say many times here, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose, and that's the thing that you want to really be focusing on as you look at this. The overall picture in gold, folks, I wanted to bring this to your attention here because if uh, – Gee whiz, I have a new gold chart, and if I can just find the doggone thing. Oh, Larry, oh, guess what? Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Here's what I think is happening to gold with a very, very high probability here, folks. Let's get this up here. You'll be able to see it here. This is the daily chart over the past several months. You'll notice that we just made the 78% level up there at 1852. We're now trading down below 17. Uh, we're, I think the last I saw was 1785. But that sets up a 1727. Folks, we're only 60 bucks away. We've gone that much in three days. We could easily be there by Wednesday or Thursday, or you could, you know, sometime next week, we could be at 17. 25 and that's going to be an a b c d taking out the lows of october oh my goodness christmas day and not only that it's going to be equal to the move down that we had from the 15th of october down into the 15th of december 15th of november down to the 15th of november down to the low of december 15th 30 days down so if you take the 25th that would get you down to, uh, hopefully, you'd like to see that around the 23rd or 24th of February. You'd like to see it trading right around 1725, 1718 in a very, very quiet market, hopefully with an ABCD in between. Bada bing, bada boom, mother God and country. You light up the boat, fill it up with the gold coins and let it rip. But that's what you'd like to see because you've washed out everybody on the long side now. You want to get them, get them down here to where you'd like to be a buyer right around 1725 to 1718. So that's the uh, that's the program that I'm looking at, and uh, that's what I'm sticking to it. Uh, and, and the only thing that'll change my mind is that if we hold 1775 here. Um, next week and then start to rally that's the 78 percent level i don't think we will but if it does i'll you know i'll be looking possibly to put a buy on there at 1775 because that's an exact 786 off the low december 13th folks this is not hard stuff i mean you look at a b c d and look at a few ratios this is not uh, rocket science so that's the main thing of what we're what we're looking at uh, at, with these things. So hopefully that's uh, something that you can hang your hat on. We've got uh, any questions coming in. Al says it's impossible to get through today. So don't even try to send your questions in, folks, or to call in because it's just not uh, just not fair. Bob, you're right. Uh, options are the best thing to do. If you learn to do options, uh, unfortunately, I've never done options. Uh, the number of times I've traded an option is very, very rare. But if you learn to be an options trader with this type of information that you're given here at TFNN, you will be a winner. Because if you learn to be an options seller, you've got the odds in your favor, 85%, folks. 85% of the people that write options make money. 15% of the people that buy calls and puts lose money. Gee, that's really a tough one to figure out. Of course, the, sometimes the puts and calls work out really good, but boy, your timing better be peckable, impeccable because if it's not, and if it's not, they're going to be teaching you a really, really sad lesson here. So I remind ourselves of that, okay? Anyway, I do suggest people that, that starting in the business to start with the options because uh, that's the easiest way to go. You can't get hurt if you're writing options, you know, knowing how to protect yourself on the other side. Uh, that that's really the way to uh, really the way to move this. Someone asked me, would I be a buyer of Apple, folks? I don't buy stocks, uh, but Apple made a beautiful number down there. Just go look at the chart. Uh, it made the exact. Uh, 61% retracement. I'll just bring it up here so you can see it here. 
And of course, it had a heck of a good rally here. But uh, three days ago, it made a beautiful 61% retracement at 155. We're trading $10, at least $10 higher at 165. I saw a little while ago. So that that's already completed that that move on that. So let's take a little break. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, here is the chart of the Treasury bonds holding up extremely well here, given the fact that the Federal Reserve came out and said we're going to raise rates, and they're going to continue raising rates, which they do. But this market's been very oversold. It's just re reversing some of that right now. And we'll get a nice rally probably up to that 159 level. It'll be a great short again, but that's something we want to pay attention to. Now, Shane Smullyan has just reminded me that next month, uh, actually, it'll be on Tuesday, we start the Year of the Tiger with the new moon and folks if you want to see a beautiful new moon forming go out tonight or early in the morning and look at this beautiful beautiful moon it's just getting ready to to move to uh, almost total darkness but we can see the uh 
you can see the outline of the earth. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. So anyway, uh, this is going to be really exciting. And uh, we do have that new moon coming in, which will be the year of the tiger for Tiger Financial News Network. And uh, we're going to see more volatility uh, next year, this year than we did all last year. And well, you can already see what's going on now. You know, 500 up, 1,000 down, 500 up. I mean, drive anybody nuts. Unless you're a pattern recognition swing trader, then you get a little bit of advantage on your side, but not all the time. By the way, on that crude oil, folks, if we close above 89, uh, I, would, I wouldn't even touch it because, you know, we had a nice pattern up there. The timing was perfect for today. Uh, it's had a dollar uh, a barrel break. And as long as it uh, doesn't go back and make new high, the risk would be very small there. And we would wait until uh, over the weekend and Monday to take a look at it because you don't want to risk anything uh, at that level. The same thing uh, in the in the soybean oil market it would be the same thing. If the thing gets above that 65, uh, 90 level, 66, there's something certainly wrong with uh Excuse me. That sixty. If it gets above that sixty-six fifty level, there's certainly something wrong in the oil. But there's a there's a weather market going on in there, folks. So unless you're an experienced trader, you know, don't even bother to touch it. It's just too wild. Uh, just my opinion, folks. Today's close is where it goes. If it closes good, we go up. If it closes bad, we go down. See you on the flip side Monday, folks. J.C. Parrott's All-Star Charts will be our guests. May God bless. Thank you.